One day, I was praying for the salvation of the youth worldwide when the devil came to accuse. Your salvation is incomplete. I will take you nowhere. But I shouted at him, Satan, I rebuke you. Relax, you pastor. I came with scripture reference. Is it not statutory that three rams must be sacrificed for salvation should be complete? According to Leviticus chapter 16, on the day of atonement, three rams were sacrificed and two were slaughtered while the last one was sent to the forest of the dead to take away the sin of the people. But Jesus is only one lamb. God cannot break his principles. Therefore, your professed salvation is incomplete and a very day. So I spoke in tongues. Relax, Satan. Let me shed some light. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the suffering, which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Ephesians 3:10 to the intent that under principalities and powers in the heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of God. Sit down, Satan. Get me here to get you. Yes, God will not break his principles. So Jesus played to the full the role of the three rams. The first ram was slaughtered for the sin of the priest because sin was found in him. Leviticus chapter 16 verse 6. But in the case of our own high priest Jesus, he had no sin in him because he did not come from the bloodline of Adam. He said in John chapter 14 verse 13, For the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Come on, shut up, ya. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21, For God made him, Jesus, to become sin for us. Jesus who knew no sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So our own high priest was sinless. Satan, listen, my own high priest was sinless so slaughtering himself for himself would have been a total religious blunder what about the second round hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 the holy spirit offered him on the cross for the sin of the people jesus died to take away the sin of you and i jesus died to take when the sin of the world Jesus died to take away the sin of the youth he met the second requirement of the lamb Jesus died he died as the second ram then how did the dead man become the third living ram how did it walk into the forest to the dead alive how did he complete the work of atonement well, he couldn't play the role of the third round. Ow! <laughs> How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world. No, the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I had not seen, nor ear heard, Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the word, but the spirit which was of God, that we might know the things that are freely given 
come to us of God with things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the spirit teacher comparing spiritual things with spiritual things but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God for so they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually descent echo to us First Peter chapter 3, 18 and 19. Jesus only died in the flesh, but was alive in the spirit. He came down from the cross as spirits uh, and went into the forest of the dead uh, and preached to the spirit in the prison. Jesus played the role of the third ram perfectly. Oh my God, Jesus did more. Jesus actually did more on the day of atonement in the time of Moses. The third ram which went into the forest never returned. It never came back. It never came back. It never came back with the testimony of his victory in the forest. But on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. <laughs> he stood up from the grave. He rose up. He came out with a testimony. He came back with an evidence. Matthew chapter 27 verse 52. The Bible says the grave broke open and the spirit of the dead man came out of the grave and they walked on the street of Jerusalem and they were seen by everyone. It's not time for comedy shows. 
It is not time for social gathering. It is not time for buying of clothes and eating of chicken. Jesus did not die.